Hello everyone. This week we are discussing debugging performance issues. And it's a really, really short chapter, really, really simple technique. So let's keep this short too. What is this all about? Well, debugging performance issues, there's one single thing you need to remember. Before you optimize anything, measure first. <clears throat> You can do lots of guesses about where your program is too slow, but the standard way is most of these guesses are wrong, so measure first. Standard tools for profiling, um, profiling called profilers in most of the programming languages allow you to very easily measure the time spent on individual variables. So, and. Um, we're going to look into a standard uh, Python profiler here. So let me look this up. This is a standard profiler. This comes from the C profile menu, menu uh, module. And uh, you can see that simply you can run a command in here. And after running the command, what you get is a table which tells you the time spent in each function as well as the time spent in each fu function and the uh, function it called. And you can apply this, for instance, to find out, hey, I spent so much time in this particular method, which is called modifications in here. So what is this all about? This is the standard way, and it takes you two lines of code. However, we also want to look into how, so how to implement such profilers, and indeed we build one. And building on our techniques from statistical debugging, we are also able to actually visualize these, visualize these either as tables that tell you how much time is being spent as a percentage in individual lines of your program, or which I find particularly nice, you can also visualize these percentages. So the darker a line in any of these um, in any of these uh, listings, uh, the higher its proportion that it contributes to the overall running time of the individual function, which is a neat way to very quickly find out where time is being spent in an individual function or greater program, of course. Finally, we also do a bit of integration with delta debugging. So this is fairly easy. All you need is a predicate that um, raises a failure as soon as um, the execution time goes beyond a specific threshold. And then you can use delta debugging as usual to find out uh, which characters in the input are responsible for this very failure. And this is already all there is. As I said, it's a short chapter, short lessons, short, simple things. And this is all the key to debugging performance issues that you need. Wishing you all the fun in enjoying this chapter. Next week, we're going to look into something that is much bigger, which is automated program repair. And this is where everything that we have seen in this book so far comes together, except for measuring performance issues. But hmm, now that I think of it, you should be able to repair these too. Hmm. Let me think about that. See you all next week. Bye-bye.